This is Noble Team, a team of Spartans coming from one of the greatest Halo games ever. But unfortunately, they all kind of seem to die. Like one in space, another in the wrong place at the wrong time, and this one, being one of the final members of Noble Team to bite the dust. So in this video, I challenge myself to recreate Emil's death with a Mac cannon that looks as close to in-game as possible, and I used only mega pieces. And this is how I did it. When I started the build, my biggest emphasis was on the Mac cannon. If this thing didn't turn out perfectly, Perfection. everything else would just not be worth it. So in order to make it as game accurate as possible, I went through the Pillar of Autumn level a bunch, smashed some brutes, also got game ended a few times, one time by a box, I don't even know how that happened, and then of course I gave Keys his blue e-girl nice. and watched a meal. Well, you know how it happens. Then, after all the knowledge I'd gained and some trial, I ended up with this piece here, which is an old mega piece used in some alien sets a long time ago. Then with that, I created the rungs you see in the middle, which the cannon shoots through. That makes the rungs and the coils up at the front crucial to the way that actually looks in the game, and I think I did a pretty good job replicating that in LEGO or fake Lego. These pieces did create a challenge though, as each one is five studs long, so I ended up having to do some maneuvering because it's an odd number, but ultimately I connected them up pretty easily. But then came these bars, which had to be connected at a slight angle. This is one of those instances where I'm really grateful Mega uses their own molds too, not just Legos, because this was my really only good option to make sure I got this exact right angle, and it turned out looking just like the game, other than the color. But in the middle of it all, we have the accelerator, or the actual gun part of the whole matte cannon itself, which I built at the front using some tire pieces that can spin technically accurate to the game, and this black 2x2 cone piece that led perfectly into the rest of the cannon part. In the game, the cannon has a big black metal wrap around the tube, so I had to build that straight line with tiles all the way through, and the rest of the tube is built with these curved pieces, which then leads us to the back, which is essentially built with the front of a warthog using EVA's last stand for the pieces on the sides. But unfortunately, the worst part about this is what actually holds up this giant Mac cannon and the pieces that I was forced to use because Mega really doesn't have anything else, which makes this the piece I had to settle on. It's too weak to actually hold up the whole weight of the cannon, so I had to put a bar up at the front to make sure that it would be stable enough to use. Having this pole up at the front to support the weight may not be great for the parts that I used, but there really wasn't another option. It was kind of fun making it work though, having to use these wedge slopes as teeth in the front to make it stop wherever I wanted it to. So it can't be anywhere, but it has a bunch of different angles it can sit at, which makes this a little less annoying. Thankfully though, I was able to build a round cover for it, which is how it was shown in game. I didn't have a perfectly round piece that I wanted to use, but this ended up being kind of fine. The circle is supposed to be connected to these supports at the front, but because of the way I had to build it, it just really can't be. So on both sides, I have these stems sticking out from the circles. Not terrible. Underneath everything is where I had my biggest challenge. In game, the entire mass driver sits on a giant round disc, which allows it to spin. Unfortunately, Mega does, doesn't really have a disc that's big enough for me to do that, and I didn't really find a good way to make that happen, so I just had to omit it entirely. I think that's my biggest regret with this thing, is just not having the right pieces to really create that swivel motion. But with all that created, the most fragile and fun part of the build was creating the cabin. This is where you sit while you're piloting the thing, and in the game, it's connected hanging next to the Mac cannon. The size of this thing, while I think it's fairly accurate to the size that I made the Mac cannon and just the size we see in the game, the figures from Mega Bloks don't really fit in here, and so it's kind of difficult to imagine you've got Emil piloting this thing. But if you take his legs off, not like he'll need them anyway, he actually can kind of fit in there mostly. Inside, I have a control panel with three different screens close enough to what we actually see in the game with one screen on top and two on the side. In the game, there's also this thing next to the cabin, which I have no idea what it is, but I created it here too, just doesn't look very good. And for the most part, I think next to it, I created enough space for Emil to, well, do what he does. I even made a ladder for him to get up too. And the rest of it is pretty simple. I made the base plate somewhat rounded and just added a little bit of more detail. Greebling, simple stuff. So all that gives us our final product, the answer to the challenge of creating Emil's death scene in Halo Mega Bloks form with a few little Lego pieces if you caught them. One of the greatest games, one of the most fun missions, and one of the saddest deaths we've ever seen all from Halo. Comment down below how you think I can improve this mock and what things you would like to see built next from Halo, from Star Wars, or anything else. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.